Alright guys, my name is Frank and welcome back to Forza Horizon 3 for a max power drift build of the Volvo 850R. I've not done a max power build in quite a while because I kind of wanted to stick to more realistic ones for the past few days. And today I'm just like bugger it, I want to go full max build with this thing. So as you can see we've got it in the James May African colours right now and we're going to make it a rear wheel drive converted Volvo 850R. So... I believe I've done one of these before in Forza 6, I think it was, and it was pretty good then, but I'll be very interested to see how it can actually handle the roads of Australia in Horizon 3, so I haven't looked at the engine spots, what we can get in this thing, but I do believe that is either a 2JZ or an RB26. I think it's actually an RB26. That is very bloody tempting. An RB26 engine Volvo 850R. Although I do like the actual standard engine noise from this, and I think it would produce quite a lot of power, but uh, I don't really know. I mean, I've got a funny feeling a lot of people would go for that, but considering the fact that it is a max power build and we want the most power as possible, we're going to go for it anyway. RB26 850R. How bloody cool is that, man? But... I cannot tell you how many times this car has been requested, so to all the people that have been requesting it, I hope it was worth the wait. I really, really do, and what the heck is that? No thank you, that looks pretty damn ugly. And we can remove the spoiler. That looks so weird without it, man. That looks really, really, really weird, but I ain't doing that. So the tyre compound, we're going to use Sport as normal for the drift builds. And how much in terms of whether we're going to get two four fives on the front. That's relatively okay. We're going to need something bigger. Oh, it's the exact same on the rear. Oh, it's going to be a bit sketchy, I think. It's going to be a wee bit sketchy with this thing. Because <laughs> I've got a funny feeling once we actually put a little bit of weight out of it, it might weigh not that much. So I don't think I've used these ADV rims yet. It actually goes with the car pretty damn nicely. I love the little rivets on the inside and everything. Just the littlest touches get to me. Definitely. So we're on 17s right now at the front. 18s don't look half too bad. So does the 19s. But yet again, I don't want to do that because that looks a bit too big. So we'll go for 18s all round. This is actually a cracking looking car when you do it up, right? It's mental. I'm tempted to put it in red, but as I said, I'm going to be keeping it in full James May colours. Because I wanted to pay homage to one of the greatest Top Gear specials of all time. I know that's a Q&A question, which is coming up pretty damn soon. I looked through the comments the other night, guys. And that was one of them, which is my favourite Top Gear special. And I will answer that, I believe, on Sunday this week. So, stay tuned for that. Fucking... Stay tuned for more content. Oh, yes, and if you do want to see some more content guys if you haven't already um, Subscribe and this is the first video you're seeing from me then go ahead and do so I just basically do car builds car reviews Try to be a little bit different from the crowd. That's what I'm trying to say Definitely so. Oh my god. Hello sunshine <laughs> That is epic man. I mean if the if the archers were slightly or the uh, What's the word? If the offset was a wee bit better on the front and the back, that would be a bit better. And we possibly might need to raise the right height a wee bit so the tyres can pop out, but... Oh, I like that. I like that. And then it goes into full truck mode with rally suspension. God damn, man. God damn. But my throat is really dry today, guys. I've been drinking water and everything for the past few days. And it is actually helping quite a lot, but... My throat's been really, really dry. I don't know why it is. It's a bit of a bugger. Especially when, we're, when you're trying to talk. Oh, I don't want that roll cage, man. That makes it look very, very ugly. Right, so this is where I'm looking for here. It's on £3,586 right now. So that's going to take us down to £3,000. That's quite, it's quite a drop, man. It's a bigger drop than when Skrillex drops. Holy shit. Intake, let's just... Fully max it out, guys. So at the end of all that power upgrades, as you can see on the right-hand side there, we have got 748 horsepower, 565 foot-pounds of torque, and an overall weight of 2,997 pounds. So 
This thing is going to be pretty damn mental in terms of drift factor. So what we will do right now is jump into the actual tuning. Now, I think there was a couple of you saying increase the PSI for drifting. I think it's increase it or I don't really know which one it is, but we will give it a go just a little bit. We'll make it 35 on each. I might be completely wrong, so do forgive me. Uh, the gearing, what can we get in terms of top speed? Not that I'm too fast, holy shit! 228 miles an hour in a Volvo? Are you mad, bro? Are you mad? Holy shit, um... Right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm looking at the, the graph the now, so 228.4. Can we get faster than that? 229.7, come on, give us 230, please. 230 would be smashing. It would be smashing indeed. 233! <laughs> holy shit! I can't believe that, man. That is bonkers. I mean, the one... 235, I'm going to keep going. The one car I would love to see come in this game, although I'm not a particular big fan of it, is the Nissan Patrol, so we can do a big freaking RB26 swap, because I've seen that thing in real life on, on YouTube, and holy shit, it is bloody mental. Absolutely mental. So we'll go for some camber. Just gives us a wee bit more sort of room to drift. Anti-roll bars, I think we shall stiffen them up as well. Put that up to 35 in the front. I think so. 35.04 and we'll do roughly the same in the rear as well. If we can get to that number. 35.3. I'll just bump up a wee bit more. Now the springs, we're going to lower that all the way down as well. <laughs> Holy shit. Cannot believe I'm doing this. Uh, what about if I stiffen up the springs a wee bit? Hmm, might be able to do that. Let's see, that, that'll that do, I think. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Uh, differential, we'll leave it 75 as well, because normally when I put it up to 100 these days, it's a wee bit fidgety. It is a wee bit fidgety, but I think we're going to leave the design on this the way it is, because I do like how clean it is in this green, so... Let's jump out. We're already in Surfers Paradise, the place that I wanted to go. Look how slammed it is. It's the slamming wagon. That sounds German, even though this is Swedish. It's the slamming wagon. Oh, yes. It's the slamming wagon. And holy fuck. Okay, she's an angry little so and so. Holy shit. Right, okay, that, that is definitely an RB26. Hell. This is mad sounding. And because we've only got two, four, fives on the front and rear, there's not much in the way of grip, which is kind of good and kind of bad at the same time, because when you are drifting, you do need a little bit of grip. I know what you might be thinking, say what now, but you do kind of need a little bit of grip to keep you on the road. Okay, okay then. Right, this is going to be a proper drift focus for you guys, so forgive me if I don't speak as much, because I will be trying to concentrate. But so far, my first impressions is this is very, very easy to get sideways. I'm very glad I tuned it like this. There's no hint of body roll, there's no blooming sudden twitching or anything like you get in some of the cars in the game. For example, the Project 7F type, etc, etc. Cars that just generally try to spin you. But not in this thing. This is very, very controllable indeed. But I'm going to go on a route. Don't you dare, Hummer. <laughs> I'm going to go on a route which a couple of people that I was driving with online a few days ago were going. It's quite a nice little drifting route. Now, if you ever do see me online, guys, and don't be afraid to um, actually just jump into the game, I actually have got my notifications turned off. So if you send us a message, I might not actually see it. But... Just feel free, jump in the game with us. We're probably just free roaming around anyway, because that's all I do. I don't really tend to do races. So we're going with the combo. We have got 23,000 right now. Pretty damn good, man. Pretty damn good. Don't hit the beamer. Holy shit, that was close. Keep her going, keep her going. Mighty damn impressed with this man. Holy shit, pink warthog! <laughs> it's the fabulous warthog, holy shit. I mean, see this bloody new, see this skill system in this game? Not the, not the skill system, but the actual drifting points and the skill points and that. 
I don't think it's a wee bit weirder than Forza Horizon 2. I don't know if they try to make it a lot more fairer because it was easy as hell to make points in Horizon 2, but I feel as if when you are drifting sometimes you need to, you need to keep women mashing the clutch button, you need to keep changing directions and but sometimes we are drifting, for example, around the roundabout, it doesn't even engage, which is kind of annoying. See what I mean there? It would normally stay a wee bit longer. I'm being, I'm being very nitpicky, right, guys? It is a good system, but I just feel as if the one in Horizon 2 is a wee bit better. Right, so interior time. Whoa, what skyline coming out of nowhere. That is mad! God, it's hard to think that sound is coming from a freaking Volvo. It's the God of Thunder? That's what it's like! It's like... I'm the crazy sweet. Don't you dare get in my way. Take out the fourth gear. Okay, Camden. Take the squad here. I think we can. This is awesome, man. I'm glad I actually done this now. Because I know a lot of you were requesting it, and I can see why. I can definitely see why. Why AI? Why did he stop in the middle of the freaking roundabout? Yeah, crazy fool. I put the fool that stops in. Well, I don't pity the fool that stops in front of the roundabout. I pity for the that is drifting around it. We go through the tunnel. Yes, now one thing I haven't spoke about yet, guys, it's taken me quite a while to get around to this. We're getting snow. We're getting snow in Horizon 3. Yes, thank you, Playground. Thank you very much. I completely forgot to talk about that the other day when it was announced, but if they do bring in snowmobiles like me and Andy were talking about, then that would be brilliant. I mean, it's kind of weird to. It's just been things that me and my friends have been talking about that we want in the game has came into the game. Because. Oh shit, no! Aston Martin, why did you have to break there? You complete and utter hooligan, but. Anyway, we'll circle back around here. I love this little area for drifting. Uh, yeah. It's been things that me and my friends have been talking about that we wanted into the game has finally come into the game, like the BMW M4 GTS, the Viper ACR, Snow, it's going to be good, it's going to be really really good, but I don't know if they are going to do a map expansion for the snow, but I think it might just be what GTA Online does and just plonk it right over the actual map, so it would be kind of interesting to see what it is going to be like, but I think that's going to drop in December sometime, but I really hope it's December 19th, because that is my birthday, that is my birthday man, cannot wait for it, be turning 22, god, I feel old, I really really do feel old, because that's the thing, when you turn 15, time just flies by, I've said this before, but it, it truly truly does, <laughs> this is the great thing, because there's virtually no weight over the back of this thing, it can just go and go and go. Well, there's no weight over it right now, but if you were to fit like a freaking DFS sofa in the back of it, then I don't think you would be able to go drifting. You can get a try, but nah, I don't think you could. And obviously it has to be rear-wheel drive converted Volvo. Because this is front-wheel drive stock. Normally when you convert a front-wheel drive car into rear-wheel drive, it does make for some interesting handling issues, but I think all-wheel drives are a wee bit more notorious for that. Especially kind of like a short-wheel based car. Oh my god. This is slowly creeping up the list of like drift cars for me. Oh shit, I had a hiccup there. Because the Savannah RX-7, I'm still standing by that. But that is my favourite drift car in the game right now. It's only got 400 horsepower, but... It's, it's an absolute cracker. It's an absolute cracking drift car. We went into the rainforest. Still in fourth gear, by the way. I don't think I've changed out of that for a while. Until now. <laughs> Until I say that. 
God, he's coming down there at some speed, isn't he? Holy shit! Woo! Okay, that's why we don't hit the bloody Subaru, whatever the hell that was. I think we're going to lose our points here, aren't we? Unless... No, we're not, but we were levelled up! Now, before recording this, guys, I got a wheel spin and I won a Lamborghini Countach, so what am I going to get? A hundred grand! Not bad, but I've had tons of wheel spins and I've never won that Rolls Royce Wraith. But what I'm going to do is spend a lot of money today. I think it's only like 50 grand and we could win an Audi R8. Ooh! Gimme, please, gimme, 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 gimme. Oh, so close to the lands here, man! Right, okay, we'll go for one more. We've got 2.3 million. I've not really done this before. Come on, gimme something good, man. Gimme something good. On a wheel spin that I freaking bought, I'll get two grand. That's a waste of money. Shite. Okay. Bugger. I mean, my, luck, my luck was going good. My luck was going freaking good with the wheel spins for the past couple of days. We won a G65 in the other episode. And then we won a freaking Countach this morning. <laughs> That's epic through that corner, man. Holy moly. Right, come on, we'll get a big got a big run up if that bloody Lambo moves it the way. Yeah, boy! Bet that guy's like, what the fuck is that? Fucking Lamborghini, not Lamborghini. <laughs> Volvo. Lamborghini, Lamborghini Mercy. God damn, your chick's so thirsty. Oh shit. There we go, but last night I was actually listening to some like classic dance tunes, guys. While I was um, responding to comments, because that's the best thing to do, honestly. I mean, for YouTubers that don't really respond to comments, I don't see why you don't, because your fan base is the people that support you, and their fan base is the people that actually make you. So, yeah, I might not be the biggest person out there on YouTube, I might not be the biggest car YouTuber either, but I care about you, honestly. And I do mean that. You get these people that say that, and they, you can see right fucking through them, but honestly, if there's ever anything that you want to talk about, I mean, I've got a Facebook group, I've got a Twitter, so all you need to do is just follow me on that, or you can even just talk about it in the comments, guys. Feel free. I will be there. <laughs> I will be there. But hopefully he's understanding anyway. Because I like to chat, as you can plainly see. And I also like to crash into Alfa Romeo's. A very, very expensive <laughs> Alfa Romeo. Move, you bloody Swedish hump of lead. Aye, that's, this has slowly become one of my new favourite drift spots. This road that I'm going down right now, and the little circuit which I showed you there. God, get back on the road! Okay, that was a bloody close call. We're in the back of a bimmer. Keep her going, sunshine, keep her going. Gotta keep her going there, keep her going. Full Daddy Genoa there. Can we get a sweep back round? This is a great car for transactions, man. I mean, <laughs> I've driven some cars in this game when you try to transcend the drift. It is pretty terrifying, because they just spin you out. But this is very smooth. Very, very smooth indeed. Oh, slip the off-road again. Yeah, I need to take this Byron Bay, man, because I think it will be at home down there. But I don't think it will hurt if we do a little race, shall we? And an Audi RS4. I know it's maybe a drift battle, but I'm in the mood to get some more money right now. Even though I've got like 2.3 million in the game. I think this will take us right down. Yes, it does take us right down to Byron Bay. Goodbye, Sunny Boy. Goodbye. I know your engine can get a lot of power when it's done up. But to the loo. You're in the stock one, aren't you? Holy shit, 100... <laughs> oh god! Oh Jesus! Okay, I just let go at 180 miles an hour. That was pretty terrifying. Shit! Okay. I might have just shot myself. <laughs> oh god, I need, I need a new pair of pants. That was bloody petrifying. Volvo, don't do that to me. I might be a big family saloon. Right, for the finale, let's see if we can do the drift zone. And don't slam into an R34! 
much. Thank you, matey boy. Thank you, Mango. But we should have the power for this. The tires are just the right amount of grip and just the right amount of slidiness to keep endless drifts going. Keep it in fourth. Clutch kick. That's it, that's it, that's it. Oh my god, there's so many cars around here now. And over 53. 53 is. Mm, sorry, I could have done a wee bit better. Still need to get three stars on that zone. That's a bit of shit. That's a bit of shit, but. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this build as much as me. Thank you for requesting this car because it is a genuine, genuine belter of a machine. And if you have enjoyed it, then a like is always appreciated. It really does help me out. And it would be greatly appreciated if you could actually share the video around as well. And as I said before, subscribe to the channel if you are brand new. And yeah, leave some suggestions for other cars you want to see me build down below. But for me and the absolutely fantastic Volvo, we'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.